What's up outdoorsman, Greg here, and today I'm doing a little test of my inexpensive, itty bitty ozone generator. For those of you that know about ozone generation for hunting applications, you know that it can be very expensive to get into a hunting specific ozone generator, which in all, in all honesty is, is really unnecessary. They, they can charge hundreds of dollars for the same types of devices that you can get that have been around for you know dozens of years. Um, I don't even know how long people have been making commercial applications for ozone generation, but the medical field, uh, bacteria remediation, home improvement, contracting types applications, they've been out there for, for years and years and years. The hunting industry does not have a corner on the ozone market. You don't have to get sucked into buying a, you know, a $300 ozone kit when you can get a $30 ozone producer from Amazon. The beautiful part of something like this is it's got a built-in lithium-ion battery so it's self-contained. You charge it up and you can take it with you on a road trip. You can take it with you to the office if you uh, are gonna hunt in the afternoon, work in the morning, but you need to you know get some ozone stuff into your gear, into your clothes. You can use a, a device like this and not have to worry about keeping it powered. It's all charged up and ready to go. Now, that said, I have no idea if this thing works or not. It may be completely useless, so I'm gonna test it right now and see if it works. I live and hunt in southern Georgia, and I have been doing all of my preseason scouting and stand setup uh, in the summer where it's been 100 degrees. And right here, I have a bin full of clothes uh, and gear, a backpack that I hunted with the other day in 90 some degrees. I sweated like, in, like a maniac, and it probably stinks to high heaven. Uh, it's been in this bin for two days now because I wanted to test this thing out to see if it actually works. So I'm gonna open it up and give it a whiff and see what it's like. Yeah, it's, it's pretty smelly in there. I can definitely smell the bacteria from sweaty man in there. So all I'm gonna do, turn this on. I'm gonna leave it for a couple of hours and see how it goes. You can actually hear the ozone coming out of the, the device. So I'm gonna go ahead and seal it back up, leave it for three or four hours, and see how it goes. The ozone has been cooking for about two and a half hours, so I'm gonna open her up and give it the smell test. I know that is super unofficial, but at least it's something. Okay, so right off the bat, I noticed that the ozone machine is still running. When I opened it up, I could hear it hissing, so... The unit actually works. That's good to know. Still running. I'm going to go ahead and turn her off. Sweaty, nasty, dirty socks. I can still smell it, so... The ozone did not kill everything. It don't smell as bad as you would think. All right, good to know. So not much for an official test, but I would say that it definitely works. Normally when I get done with the hunt and I've been wearing my backpack, uh, it smells really bad. And there is a little bit of smell. So it's definitely 100% definitely better than normal, but I'm not gonna say it was 100% effective. Maybe I just need to let the ozone cook a little bit longer. That could be. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a qualified win. For 30 bucks, I'm certain it's better than spending three or 400 on a hunting specific ozone machine. Here you go, thanks for checking it out.